hey 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 guys what's up it's your boy mr passion here and today we are going to be building the uh, starter house that i built in my survival world and as you can see this behind here is the layout so for this building uh for, for this building we're going to be doing uh, we're going to need oak log ignore the cost that oak log uh, batch planks of course chip batch uh, cobblestone stairs white concrete and a stone button and you shall see why all this uh, wh why why we've chosen all uh, why we've chosen these particular parts but i think let's get on with the building first we're going to have to start um with these outside corners as you can see it is basically a perfect square that is a uh, nine the inner the inner square is nine by nine and the outer one is an eleven by eleven and you could basically do this in any odd number it is achievable with uh with a five by five and may and also a seven by seven it's achievable with any odd number as long as it makes a perfect square so anyways let's head on with it so first of all you start with the corners uh, that is you come here and you place all clogs here now as far as uh, the particular number of materials you need i really don't know yet because i've not taken the time to count but it shouldn't be difficult uh, to do so and then we won't raise these oak blocks uh, then this this oak four block uh, three blocks high uh, basically there's supposed to be four blocks from the ground which is counting this will go one two three one two three one two three one two three and we have something like that uh, so now we're going to find the midpoint between the uh, the the this this the midpoint between each of the parts and we're going to in that midpoint we're going to place one oak block suddenly this is the midpoint but we're going to have to count from this from here and we're going to have to count four one two three four then on the fifth block we place and we'll do the same for the rest one two three four then we place do the same one two three four then in place make sure they are all placed on the fifth block one two three four then in place and of course we're going to raise right right raise this to the same level as that so it's one two three it's one two three it's one two three hold up one two three okay so that is what we have for now now once you're done with that we're going to create the cross beams that are crossing in between uh, these things and that's what you're going to do so basically just fill this in one two three So after you're done connecting all, all all the i mean connecting all the tops we're going to just come go around the building and uh, do this do that do that all right that is looking good so now we are done with the uh, the oak and now we're going to move on to the batch and the strip batch so we're going to do now the interior wall the reason i chose this design is because i like the depth it creates so let's go ahead and make the interior wall so basically you're just going to do this randomly but you could do it any way you want you could just uh, do that uh, mix in a bit of batch like that
two for the front entrance. So then we're going to basically raise the next part. So you come here and just just raise it up two. Raise it up two. Do not raise it up all the way up. Just raise it up two. And then consider where you're going to be leaving your windows. So you do like that. Then uh, put in some birch. In fact, I should make this birch plank. then we will have something like that okay now uh, we're, go we're now going to do the flow so what I like to do outside basically is of course I like my building to sort of extend out like to have the inside coming out and that you're going to place uh, strip oak log all the way across all the way to this side okay so the outside is finished now we're going to go and work on the ex the interior sorry so for the interior we're going to use actually we're going to need we're going to use both a combination of oak and spoon and uh, and batch but you could do it in any design you want but this is the design i chose to go with so uh let's say place Oak like that, I mean, much like that, then, then, then place. Now that you're done with the interior, it's time to move on to. Uh, it's time to move into the finishing touches outside. I like to do my buildings one stage at a time. I do not move onto the top floor until I am finished with the, the the exterior and the interior design of the lower floor. That's in case I'm doing a two floor building. So that's there. We're going to need uh, the stone buttons. Okay, now since that is done, next we are going to put in the windows and the doors. For that we're going to be using oak, uh, particularly we're going to be using oak doors and oak trap doors. So how we're going to do this is start with the trap doors, make sure you're doing this from the inside, place oops sorry make sure you're doing this from the outside place close place close place close place close now you're done now that you're done with the windows let's place the doors place them inside like that then you're going to then we're going to place uh, then you place 
uh, two planks up there then you so okay now now the lower part is finished next we are going to move on to the top and for that we're going to need the white concrete and the oak logs so then let's do that first let's fill in the interior here and we want to do the same thing we did up okay now that you're done with filling in the floor next is working on the outer walls of the top so here we're going to use both white concrete and oak so let's start with white concrete so let's, let's start with our oak so in these corners here this the main corners we're going to place oak logs and then you're going to raise them up one two three the same as you did below one two three one two three one two three and now that you're done with that we're going to bring uh, beams across to connect the the four posts so this is bring this across Now that you're done with, be the, the, with connecting the beams, we're going to go outside here and where this is, you look up and place on this block an outside facing oak log. Same applies to this side. And then this, this side and this side. So you make sure you have that across and then you're going to bring them in like this all right now once that is done we're going to do uh, what we did down by placing getting these these outside facing oak logs and doing the same here Now next is filling in the walls with white concrete. Start from the front of the house and make your way to the to all around the house. Now depending on what you like, your window design will be the similar or different from mine. That's all up to you. So here we just fill in the base. Okay, now we are just going to create our windows. Now, depending on what you like, if you like large windows, it's up to you. If you like smaller windows, very yes, this is, this is supposed to go here and this is going to go here. So you could have two big windows and one small one looking outside in this direction, or you could just make them basically the same size. Same applies to here. Uh, this side you could actually 
make them smaller like that So this is where we are so far now work on you could work on the exterior now by getting the stone buttons and placing them the same way you did this up here okay now next is the roof it's for for the roof you just have to make sure you get up here and start with an oak log place an oak log on each of the corners like that like that like that and then get your stone and we're going to come and place it facing outwards like that your stone stairs and you do the same for each make sure they are all facing outwards like that and now it's time to connect the sides this should be easy so now we're going to connect and create a ring around the building using stone stairs. Of course, join the middle and then okay now that you're done with the top it's time to fill in the roof for the roof you can use whatever you like but I'll, 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 I would I would suggest you either use oak planks or you could just use uh, slabs oak slabs and birch slabs Make sure to place them uh, up here such that they are not spawnable, so that mobs do not spawn in because you're not going to be coming up here. So it's best to place them like this such that there is no place for them to spawn. So mix it up with oak so that you could have a very nice uh, roof design Now that you're done with the top, it's time to, to finish the outside completely. 
uh, what I mean by that is we want to put the lighting and the exterior decorations and plants and bushes uh, just just to make sure to just add the finishing touch like that and a lantern Now that you've gone around, we're going to come down here and at the, at the door entrance we're going to place this too. Like that. That you get an oak trap door, place the oak trap door, make sure it's on this block, and then float, uh, get above it, then sorry, then get above it and place a flower pot on top of that, and do the same for this side. Then you can put in a plant of your choice. I personally put in virtual saplings. And like that, you are finished. But before that, let's finish the windows outside here. For the side windows, you could do, repeat the same thing you did uh, down below and use uh, oak trap trap doors you have to do this from outside though Like that, you are finished with a Tudor style uh, mid century build uh, house, house build. So, you guys can tell me if you love this tutorial or this style of tutorial, and you can ask me any questions in case I was not clear about any part. Okay, so that is done. Hope you guys like this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye for now.